We can handle the strain as we catch back up, right? Guess we'll find out. And yeah, we don't have any other sludge nearby, so I can't really do too much with that. The only other thing that I'd potentially consider doing here is just hooking in every single one of the geothermals. This is gonna get expensive. This might crash our power grid. As this whole thing struggles to rebuild all of my resources. But I do have a lot of power storage. And those are ticking up really fast. I think I'll be fine. Okay. Uh huh. Orbital scanner. Let's go back to HQ. And we might even want to sell a couple of things. But more so, I'm gonna want to. I'm gonna want to build up. I'm probably gonna want to get rid of a number of the generators and keep offshoring them on other planets because I want to. I want to do magmatic generators. Have that be my my true mineral farm. Because that way, it won't that. Ugh. That way, I will never really have to worry about, you know, running out of solar or wind. And there should just be plentiful power. I just don't actually know which location has all of the magma. <laughs> that might actually be the titanium zone, which is, like, less useful now. Eh, no, it's still useful now I'm thinking about it. Because, um... I gotta scan a lot of plants, and the easiest way to do that is either spend like an hour sitting there and scanning the plants that my, my machines grow, or, you know, actually going out on site and just scanning a billion things by spinning. Alright. How are we doing locally, power-wise? It's actually barely putting a dent in. Okay. I'm just... I'm just gonna do the silly thing. I'm just gonna save. Um, I'm gonna go back here. I'm gonna see what I can upgrade amongst these. Yeah, I can't upgrade them at all. Well, how much do I want to destroy myself? No. I mean, yes, but no. Because one of the problems is this map is really big. And the immediate issue I have is that the more I have here, the more this main base becomes inundated with uh, lag. And so I'm thinking, I might want to just get rid of all of this stuff. Yeah. Because every single one of them contributes to the whole lag business. And so what I'd like to do is actually condense this base down. Or at least keep it to mostly guns. Because yeah, look at this. This is, uh, this is a problem. It's a problem that I've been kind of ignoring or contributing to. But if I can just have a lot of these things elsewhere, just off base entirely, that'll make my life just a gazillion times I can better. Hear distant thunder. The wind is also picking up. A storm is coming. Okay. Other thing I should do. Question. Okay, so this doesn't work. Damn it. I mean, I could remove the storm floor. is getting really intense. But I think I'll be fine. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to use this opportunity to instead build an egregious amount of AI cores. Because this way I'll... 
I'll be able to build a ton of defenses. And it's going to have a set power power drain that I'm not going to have to concern myself with. And that set power drain is way lower than using those generators. Okay. I think this will do. Yeah, we still have the farming things. I don't think I care too much. So let's let's go through and upgrade everything that we have not upgraded yet. Because if I'm going to get attacked, I want to be super ready. Give me the big guns. Give me the big blasters. And that section is good. It's still a little choppy around here. And it's probably going to remain as such until we're done. Luckily, I'm spending a lot of time off base. And we'll probably continue to do so for quite some time. Like some of these creatures attacks are originating from a common points near our base. Interesting. We should go and investigate that area. I might actually be done. I'm going to walk back up over to this base and probably sell it. Or just leave it. I know it's still got tons of carbonium. The storm is over. It's so quiet all of a sudden. Oh. I forgot this... This little base is, like, bizarrely well defended. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna leave it as such. It can just do its thing. Yeah, let's sell the rest of these, because we, we do not need them. Not here. It cuts my carbonium production down pretty tremendously, but I just... I think it's worth it. And if I need to build up resources before I hit that summon button, then so be it. Okay. Now, is this actually passable? It is. I don't think anything is going to even attempt to come through there. But there is a possibility. Okay. Next order of business, this area. This area is pretty quiet. Yeah, I think we might... Uh... I think we might not have enough resources to even summon the final enemy. I don't know really if it's worth upgrading the interior defenses on a number of these locations. At the same time, it makes me feel better. Well, this area doesn't have a repair thing. Not that it necessarily needs it. But it costs me almost nothing to build one. And it saves me from a very potential massive headache. The southern side. How you doing? Oh, you're... Uh, beef strong? I only double layered my walls. However, I believe I've just jammed a ton of guns in here. Eh, okay, it's not perfect. Okay. Go through and upgrade everything. Because I have no idea what the ensuing wave is going to even be like around here. And I'm a little scared to find out. Okay. Yeah, don't forget the gates. There we go. Well, I need, need some more material storage.
Okay, build a repair. Armor that up. I think this area is almost golden. We should probably upgrade everything that can. And then this area is just confusing. You know, I think my best bet here is maybe attack drones. I don't know. Okay, so we still have a couple stretches of wall that I haven't touched yet. And then I think we're good. Oh my gosh, how did I not get absolutely demolished here? I didn't even put a single gun on this stretch of wall. And yes, I know they're not powered yet. Okay. Oh, well, that's a... Uh... Glad I double-checked, because I... I wager. This is going to be one of those really bad spots. I'm actually out of Carbonium. That's okay. I'm getting 50 per second, and I have no idea what the status of my other base is going to be. I think it's good. Okay, how's this doing? Looks like these are all good to go. Can upgrade that. This area looks nice and chunky. This area is less but I'm hoping that my enemies will go elsewhere. Okay, and we're very low on Carbonium. And we're gaining 50 per second. That's really good. I'm just gonna probably put some repairs. I'm just gonna have, yeah, repair things down. And hopefully that'll be enough. Uh, let's see. What else do I do? You know, let's roll north and take out those weird nests. I don't actually know how much they contribute, but they certainly aren't helping. And so if I can get rid of those, that'll help too. Uh, let's see. Beyond that, I don't know. Right. Scan everything. Wind is slowing down. The air is getting dense. A fog is forming up. This looks like a nest of some sort. We should clear it out and reduce the strength of hostile attacks. Okay. There is a lot of them inside. Ooh. This might be difficult. Free hazenite. It's hard to see anything in this fog. It's also affecting our solar panels and wind turbines. We have to wait it out. I see big tree. Must scan big tree. I... Not actually sure if I can scan that big tree. Well, it's okay. Must scan everything. Okay. Here we go. Shred these boyos. Please desist. Thank you. Nest is gone. Free Hazenite, though I'm not entirely sure. I'm not really sure what we need Hazenite for. I know we need it for something. Go back to scanning everything. And then go back to deleting everything. Okay. Then after this, I think I'm going to feel safe enough that we can probably... Upgrade the headquarters. In this area and improve our chances of survival. 
Every bit helps. Okay. I think we're good. I don't actually know which of these I need to scan, so I'm just gonna kind of scan whatever. The fog Ooh. is clearing up. It'd actually be really nice if the uh, if for the growers you could actually just tell them to. Yet, can you just grow a little bit of everything from a region, and then even like switch the harvesters over to a research mode? Gosh, that'd save me a lot of time. But no, they want you out here with this scan beam, doing scan beam things. I'm not even going to fight things for the most part. What's the point if they just respawn? Because I'm faster than most enemies. This is worth stopping for, though. Because these have interesting blueprints. Not all of them are necessary. But it still strikes me as worthwhile. Okay. Scan everything before I destroy. There we go. Don't actually sink in the sludge. That'd be bad. Man, nice part is this is going to give me a lot of what I'm looking for. Hello. Thank you for the blessed resources. Okay. There we go. Oh, right. I was supposed to look into whether or not I had any sludge immediately in my base for alternate power solutions. But honestly, you know what? Maybe it's not a big deal. Ah. Instead, we're just going to pop this open, see what we get. That took a while. And it looks like it was just a bunch of rodentite. And bees! And the bees are now confused and dead. That's what you get, bees. Okay. So we just wanted to check this stretch of wall, make sure it's up to snuff. It is not. I don't know how up to snuff it, it actually needs to be. But egg on my face if it turns out that this is like the crucial defensive point and I haven't even bothered to upgrade the guns on it. Or, you know, build guns at all. Boy. The other thing we could find out is it turns out that uh, this whole thing is kind of pointless. And that the enemy attack is actually going to be really easy. I doubt it, though. Like I said, we've been doing this run for a while. And so it would be... It's pretty likely that this one's going to be a doozy. Especially because I'm betting the bigger our head headquarters, the bigger the wave. Okay, this area is looking pretty good. The one thing is, I didn't have a whole lot of cobalt when I built this place up originally. So I don't think I have, like, any repair totems. Yeah, I don't. I'm not sure how much I need, though. Okay, this area is good. Just needs a little bit more wall. So far, so golden. And then maybe a couple of flame towers. Because it seems like the flame towers are incredibly useful at getting rid of the little guys. Okay. Build some repairs. Build some repairs. Alright. I think we're good. There's still a possibility we're going to get absolutely punched here. But... I'm not betting on it. Okay, and I do not have enough Carbonium. 
Uh, do I wait? Do we go elsewhere? You know what? Research completed. Also, I've still got 20 minutes before we're done with that research. So I'm going to do the ura uranium ore sample one real quick. Because that way I should be able to grow what I need. Oh, and it's desert stuff again. Well, it's fine. Because, yeah, I if I don't need a whole lot of uranium and if I don't need a whole lot of titanium or just a lot of these resources, you know, just a couple hundred here and there, as opposed to the absolutely massive amount of carbonium and other resources that I do need, then I might as well just grow it. The, that would almost be an incredibly interesting challenge. I don't think I'd do it just because of the time requirements, but it'd be really cool to actually potentially play this from the perspective of, like, Uh Rift jump successful. I am detecting a very high background radiation in this area. It is dangerously close to the safety limit of my armor. Good. This means that we really are onto something. I don't expect to find uranium rods lying around. Let's use the geoscanner to search for some ore. Oh, this bullshit. Well, oh wait, I can't bioscanner while I geoscanner? Well, that's unfortunate. And luckily, I can just largely alternate between the two. That's not a big deal. There we go. Because I'm betting the Bulbous Priam Fervis, or it's something else... There we go. I'm betting one of these. Or... Yeah, one of these plants that I'm harvesting in the area will get me exactly what I'm looking for. That was... Not the greatest. So also really wish there was like an auto defense. You know, just a damage field or something. Look at this familiarity increasing. It's like I know them. Holy shit, what the hell are these things? They're sick? I love the enemies in this game. Like, they're so unique and interesting. Oh man, you know what would be a really cool competitive mode for this? Is if somebody specifically was the, um... It's like survival mode, but one of the people is just, uh... Sending out nests and, and building up little bases. Uh, mostly to hamper you, slow you down, and maybe find weaknesses in your base. I think that could be a really cool... Okay. I think that could be a, a really cool potential game mode. Honestly, considering the, the lag and the other stuff, it's probably not worth it. But I can't help but still be kind of jazzed about the idea. Okay, so these missions suddenly got a lot more interesting now that I'm scanning everything. Because now I just have to spin, grab resources. There we go. Okay, here we go. Just take the damage, it's fine. Ow, no it's not. These suckers hurt. Okay. I get my HP back pretty easy. How much are we at? Not nearly enough. 
There we go. Yeah. The weather is changing. I'm sensing an intense dust storm coming our way. This may affect our solar panels. We won't be getting any good results by searching for uranium this way. This is tedious. Ashley, this is our lucky day. My sensors are picking up a larger underground uranium deposit. I've marked it on our map. Excellent. Let's go there immediately. There it is. Yeah, this is tedious. Hopefully the larger deposit speeds this up. That's not even uranium. I was really hoping we get like a geoscanner upgrade instead. To be honest. Like this is fine. But at the same time. Same same thing with bioscanning. Like it, I, tech upgrades make tedium better in games. You know it's like oh okay well this sucks. But. If you pay the tedium tax for a little bit, then you get the better tech that just lets you skip it. Alright, screw it. Okay. There we go. Leave nobody left. Bring plenty of nukes. Be happy about your lot in life. Bye. There's a lot of creatures around this area. We won't be getting to that uranium without a fight. You can search for uranium elsewhere, but that's probably going to take more time. You can fight these creatures, or... You can try to figure out a different solution. Thank you okay. for the advice, Mr. Riggs. That's very helpful. Holy shit, this thing is tough. And cares not for my nukes. Took 10,000 damage to kill. I'm impressed. I really wish it was just gather uranium, period, as opposed to using the geoscanner. Okay. There we go. Yeah, I just want to scan each and every one of these crystals. This is very Tiberium Sun. I should play that at some point. I, I've been really wanting to do more like kind of game reviewy things. Uh, one of my one of my biggest problems uh, lately has just been that uh, doing let's play stuff is kind of hard and time consuming. Uh, maybe hard's not the right word. I've run out of a lot of things to talk about, which has kind of been an issue. And it feels like my usual banter is um, is suffering a little bit as a result. It's easier when I'm streaming because then I can like talk to another person and blah blah blah. But it's not quite the same that I. I truly feel like my best commentary is done. There we go. Well, I a decent deposit. We're almost there. Odd thing is, it's not. It's telling me to go elsewhere. Unless we already found it. But yeah, it would have been really nice if it's like, yeah, just gather uranium from everything in this in this zone. I don't... I feel like that massive uranium thing was that one... One section and then that's it. Yeah, looks like I'm out of luck. The hell? Oh, 
Shit, these guys are spooky. Warning! My radar is tracking a meteor swarm. Its flight trajectory ends very close to our location. Prepare for bombardment. I might want to upgrade the nuke's rate of fire. Maybe. Please be enough. This geo scanner is not my favorite. These rocks can do some serious damage. Evasive maneuvers, Mr. Riggs. Do I look like somebody that gives a hoot? Do I look like an owl to you? No! Do owls have nukes? I reject this theory. And they don't offer a firm rebuttal. Oops, well that nukes can just hit something unfortunate. That's okay. And bang. The rock rain is what do over. we get? That was intense. We got a decorative flag. Cool. Hard to immediately care. Okay, so it's somewhere in here. How did you survive? There we are. Please be enough. Okay, oh yeah. We've gathered enough uranium samples. We have to search for larger uranium ore deposits that could be mined autonomously. Now that we know the type of uranium ore that is present in this area, we should download the appropriate uranium handling technology to be ready to set up a mining outpost. Ashley, we can use the radiation signature of the uranium ore that we've gathered to calibrate the orbital scanner to search for more significant deposits. It's like following a breadcrumb trail, but I feel that we're getting closer. I mean, this is true, I guess. But you've done this before. Uh, well, we only have to do this one more time. I don't think I'm going to bother sitting around here. Because we're still going to have to go to the planet that has the built-in uranium. Uh, or the pre-existing uranium deposits. Okay, the real question is, how much do I want to just, like, run through this area and scan? How useful are these these plants scans? Either incredibly useless or like I can just go back and farm and have a really good time. How are we doing on carbonium? Pretty good. Though I'm realizing what I should probably invest in is a massive amount of material storage. Oops. I missed and then I didn't miss. And then it wasn't a problem. And then everything is just evil desert. Bam. Okay. Just keep scanning. We don't really care about most of these things. But I care enough to scan them as we go by. Especially if there's so many. Like, look at all this stuff. Are all of these scans going to be worthwhile? No. Some of these plants are probably just going to give me carbonium in small quantities, and then it's just like, I have no interest in you. We... I think I need to give this, uh... I need to give the minigun piercing. I gave it, I believe auto-aim or something, which is good, but not really that helpful. Okay, let's go back here. I yeah, might as well keep popping these as I go by. Here they come. Oh. <laughs> I guess the other option, uh, well, no, for the nuke, I think I need to do rate of fire. If I didn't already do rate of fire, holy shit. 
All right. Let's grab this. There's a dense dust storm visible on the horizon. Grab the rodenite, which I don't really need. The sky I think. Is barely visible now. Okay. Well, we've got alien camouflage. We've got wait, mech drone upgrades. Hold up. Oh, there's the railgun tower. Might as well add that. Mech combat. Oh. Mech combat drone attack gear. Offensive equipment. Damage reflect. I. It looks like it might have a gun. That might be the bit that I'm looking for. Fusion core. Ah. Building cost, building speed. Swarm missiles. Ooh. I'm still going to need a lot of things to actually be able to do it. But still, anti-corrosive armor... Energy armor and fireproof armor. Good to know. And I might as well grab the power fist. Oh, and dust is getting everywhere. Okay. Well, we're leaving. I'm gonna go back to the HQ. I think what I'm gonna do Yeah, I don't care about this location. I think what I'm gonna do is put down a bunch of material storage. Because one of my biggest issues seems to be the fact that I can only hold up to twenty thousand, and I definitely need more than that. Okay. So Let's find some space in the base. We got some space in the base. Resources. Solid material storage. Oh. Yeah, let's sell those. There we go. Yeah, I might as well just have an absolutely ridiculous amount of storage for every bit of building material we have. Admittedly, I should maybe consider building this elsewhere. Because this does not contribute at all well to the, uh, the lag issues on this map. Still. That's a perk. And then... Should be fine. All right, so they're coming from the north. This will attract a lot of attention. I had a guess. We have some time before the attack. Let's strengthen our defenses. They're probably going to hit there, and then here. Maybe. We will see. Heavy heavy artillery tower. Oh, but it it needs supercharged plasma to just do thing. So we're just gonna I'm gonna just set that and hope. This might be okay actually. This area could use some help, though. Okay. Well, I'm pretty much out of juice. But I'm feeling, like, vaguely good about everything. Oh, you know what the... You know what I'm not feeling vaguely good about? We don't have any repair things here. Okay. That should cover our bases. Okay, and these are all level 2? Yeah. What about this area? It's decidedly okay. Get a rocket tower and another rocket tower. 
This way we won't have to worry about anything, I think. Oh. Interestingly enough, now that I'm looking at it, it's probably that little satellite base that's going to get wrecked more than anything else. Oh, I have a solution. Because one of my are picking up multiple groups of hostile creatures approaching our base. One of my biggest fears is that this place is going to lose power. Okay. We're ready for them. Okay. No, that's a sentinel tower. Look at the flamer towers. Flamer tower. Okay. Yeah, this this area is going to get slapped. And it's my my general duty to make sure it gets not slapped. And the easiest way to do that is overwhelming firepower. It looks like we're good. This is, frankly, maybe excessive. Oh, you know what would also maybe help here? I'm gonna sell that one, seeing as there's no carbonium. Hey, I even have an, enough uranium that I can upgrade a radar here. Hell yeah, gun base. Look at this thing. It's burning ammo like crazy, but it actually, no, it's not. It is burning ammo, but none of these guys are even coming close. Oh my gosh, that's a hell of a wave. Look at it. Yeah, they're not they're not even touching me. Might as well get a mine layer tower over here. A little unnecessary, but it's fine. Oh, and the other thing. I'm just gonna get that there. That way I can come back here without having to walk. How's this doing? Oh, it's fine. I'm going to put some gates here. This area is not even getting slapped. So I think I'm just going to... I'm just going to go out here, reap my rewards. This might have actually been a really easy wave. It certainly didn't pay out particularly well. Which kind of works out for me. I mean, I don't know. This I've will probably some time until the next attack. Let's check what's new after the HQ upgrade. I've probably got a silly amount of upgrades that I can just roll with. All right, is the HQ up upgrade upgrade done? Please tell me yes. Uh, well, there's that. And now we can start mining crude uranium. As far as HQ level six. Oh. Uh. Eh? Okay, let's take another gander at this. Nope, that's not it. Gander at this. This gets us headquarters level 6. Um, I'm just going to put that on the top. We don't need liquid weapon superior at the moment. Yeah, let's just let's just max this out if I can. It's not going to take too long. Uh, boo, gosh, what else do I do? Not too much, honestly. I'd say we're we're about as tanked up as we can get. And considering how weak that wave was, there's nothing to worry about. 